Good morning everybody. Uh, time for our new pattern. Today is pattern-collections.com. That is where you go. Don't go try and find an app. An app doesn't exist. Scroll down to pattern focus. Scroll down to today's patterns which are now numbered correctly because they got uh, corrected. I made a mention to Nicole and she fixed that for us. So now you can find the right day. Uh, let's see, what was the one we did yesterday? Was that one? So today we're going to do this one. Not sure I'm going to even attempt to say the word. Espejo. Ugh. Whatever it's called. That's it. Right there. I'm a little far out. Okay. So, it appears to be a rather organic kind of a tangle. We're going to draw a sort of roundish, triangular-ish shape. And then do an aura around it. And then around that shape, we are going to do some kind of a blobby, wiggly line. And then we're going to aura around that. And then inside that part, we're going to put some spirals. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Look at that. Look at that with the gems. Isn't that awesome? Let me zoom in a little bit. That's awesome. I think that's really, really pretty. And that's the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle of the of this particular tangle, I think will be easy to use or to do. Pardon me. Why am I so tired? I got well, I got up early this morning. Anyway. Alright. Um I'm going to put my string on this page, which is a straight line. And another little straight line and when I'm connecting them this way unlikely I'm going to actually use it in the way that it shows but that's okay oh and I just noticed it doesn't have to be a triangle that that one's a triangle but these ones are round so I would say any whatever shape that you want as long as it's a closed shape or it and then do a squiggly shape around it and aura it is basically the extent of. Ooh. I apologize for my yawning. Wow. All right. So where do I want to start? I guess I'll start kind of here. I think this one's going to be kind of triangular. I'm going to use I'm going to use that as my as my shape spot. I'm going to go like that. Can you see? Are you too far away? Are you too close? Let's see what happens here. Okay. And then somewhere around here, we're just gonna make a shape. And then I'm going to aura around that shape. I'm gonna do it on the outside. You could make that aura on the inside or the outside. Whoa! I almost crossed over that line because I wasn't paying attention. Well, actually, it was in a spot where I couldn't see. All right, that works. That works. Okay. And then we're going to put some spirals in this.
Just sort of random spirals. Some of them are note that most of all my spirals all spiral the same way I could spiral them the other way but it's actually harder for me to do that I have to think about it more I'm more likely to spiral this direction it's just the way my hand goes make them all the same size but I want them to be more random than that and I made this shape really big on my tile I really did I, I, I just filled that sucker up I'm not sure I want to put another one of these on this tile. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. However, I do like the whole gem idea in the middle. And I think I'm gonna put some sort of let me draw Put some sort of background thing but I think I'm gonna this kind of mimics the um, string this right there because you know the string went like that and then like that and I used that triangle for this I think I'm gonna do some sort of patterns in the background but this one is gonna be different than this one and yeah all right Perhaps something that's going this way. I feel like maybe, maybe this one.
So today in our Facebook group, we were having a discussion about somebody's having issues with their pens. Um, with microns of all things. Uh, that they're getting them straight out of the package and they're not working. And we were trying to like troubleshoot as to why that might be occurring. And we made all sorts of assumptions that we probably maybe shouldn't have had, but it was kind of hard to tell. Um, we were thinking that maybe um, she wasn't drawing vertically. You know how you have to really hold your pen almost straight up and down. You, you watch me draw every day. You know that I'm, I'm not holding my pen at this angle. Like a normal, like I would do if I was just writing. I'd hold it more vertically. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case, apparently. Uh, you know, she's used microns before. She's well aware of the limitations and how they work. Just recently, she's just started getting bad ones open right out of the package and they're not any good. So, I don't know. Um, so if you're having that same issue, head over to Tangle It Pattern Club on Facebook and um, join that conversation because, you know, I don't know if it's just the retailers in her area. <laughs> well, you're thinking that maybe, maybe they're, um, the retailers are just not storing it right. Maybe there's a weather problem. I don't know. Since it came from more than one retailer, it's hard to um, you know, kind of figure out. Really kind of weird. I want to put a bit of a curve there. I don't know why I'm wanting to do that, but I'm wanting to put darker. Playing with line weight is important. Um, making thinner and thicker lines is is something that that can really make your tile look different. And if you don't have a pen that is thicker, if you don't have different sized pens, then all you really have to do is go through and make your line fatter by just going over it again like that. Just this tiny little bit makes a difference. Just like here, I could have just drawn that, but I drew it with a then a darker over the top. Make it really stand out. I want this one thicker right there. And you'll see I'm not doing it on all of them. I'm just doing it on some of them. Some of my curves there. And just does something to your tile. You know, I could do that for some of these too. I could make just some of them a little bit more bold. Like that. Maybe this one. Just a couple of them. Maybe one over here. And maybe one over here. It's kind of subtle, but it's there. And then I want to go this way with, with this maybe. Just a simple, like that.
Just something like that, I think. That looks good. I'm going to actually sign it over here. And I'm going to do a little bit of shading and probably put a little gem in there. Um, let's do this where it overlaps. Just a bit. Yeah, I looked up those doodle sticks that somebody said that they use doodle sticks. They're pricier than I want to pay. They're like $13 for a package of, of sticks. You know, these are like $2 for a package of sticks. So I'm not sure that I want to do that. I'll see if I can find a cheaper alternative. Cause... I think... I think I want a little bit of shadow just on this side of these curves, like that, just a little bit. Like that. Okay, and then... It needs to talk to me. It's going to go green. It's going to go green. I'm going to get out my greens. And maybe one brown. Why is it? saying it wants a brownish color. It wants a Tuscan red for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to start with my lightest green. And where do I want to leave my shine? I want to leave my shine kind of there. just gonna barely touch the surface I mean I'm seriously barely touching the surface let me zoom in so you guys can see see hardly any pencil is coming barely 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 touching the surface barely Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next color darker. Just barely, barely, barely touching. Okay. And then the next one. Like that, maybe, and then the darkest right up against the edge. And then I'm 
just really lightly. back with my light one again. My lightest, I think. Like that, maybe. this tiny little bit of brownish. Just in the corners it says that this kind of brownish red. Just like that. Just barely. And then maybe around here for some reason. idea why it wants that there. I'm feeling like it's, it's wanting me to go a little bit lighter. Sort of a kind of a lighter brownish orange. Just around the edge here. look like at a distance. When I zoom out, that really helps me see. I actually think I want this whole thing kind of that brownish. It's called uh, goldenrod. But just barely. not bad. Want a little bit more of this dark green right in here. Like that. Okay. And then the light. Out this one. This is my favorite pen at the moment for doing white. It's a Sakura Decorees. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy just the white by itself. I think you can. But it, it came in a set with pastel colors. I really like it. Just a little bit right there.
Use my little stick. Okay, I like it. What do you guys think? I like it. So now I need to put what it's called. What's the name of this pattern? This was the one I couldn't pronounce. E S P E J O. String number 34, there we go. That didn't take overly long, wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I had somebody on one of my videos just recently say, uh, could you go faster? Could you make your video faster? Cause I can't sit still for 20 minutes or 40 minutes. And you know what? That is not my problem. If you can't sit still, not my problem. The point of, uh, of this drawing method, the Zentangle, is to be meditative and it is a slow, deliberate process. Enough speeding it up. I'm not fast forwarding. You know, uh, if you have been with me for a long time, you'll know that uh, at the very beginning I said, I'm going to draw this out in real time so that you guys know how long it takes to draw these patterns. You know, there's a button somewhere on YouTube when you're watching the video. Now, I can't tell you on a mobile device because I don't watch YouTube on my phone or on my tablet. I only watch YouTube on my computer. But in the video, somewhere in this corner, usually it's the, like there's there's the thing that tells you how to do full screen, um, and then there's usually a little gear thingamabob right here in this corner. Click on that little gear, and you have a choice of speeding up or slowing down the video to the speed that you want to watch. Now, if you speed it up, I'm going to sound like a chipmunk, but you know that's your problem, not mine. Uh, you can speed up the video or you can click along the little bar and skip and go fast forwarding through. You can do that. Not going to hurt my feelings, but I am not going to make a fast forwarded video. I'm just not going to do it. And, um, that's not the point of this. And if you want to watch somebody draw in fast forward, there are people out there on YouTube that do just that. It's not me. So, nope, not changing myself. Not changing my style for you. Anyway, I just want to let you know that things are going well. If you go out and try to do something nice for others, the, the uh, you know, what goes around comes around. The, the, the blessings will come back to you. They might not come back to you today, but they will come back to you. So go out and do something nice for um, each other. You know, I, I was absolutely devastated. Now this is going to come be um, released later in the week. So it it's not going to come exactly on the right day. But that <clears throat> terrorist attack on those little girls in England it just breaks my heart it does it breaks my heart so today I'm praying for those little girls for the ones who are injured for the parents of those little girls who died for this world and the chaos that is in this world, it hurts me to the core. Just, you know, just saying, it hurts me. So, 
there are evil things that are going to happen to us in this world. And there's not always any way we can stop them. But we can still, in our own little corner of the world, try to make our world a better place by being kind and sweet and loving to one another. No matter somebody's ethnicity, no matter their religion, no matter their skin color, no matter their socioeconomic class, You can be kind to one another. You can. It doesn't cost any money to be kind to one another. You don't have to give them money. You don't have to buy them lunch. You just have to say hi and smile and be nice. And I just can't fathom the evil that is out there in the world. All I can do is in my own little world, try to make it a better place. So, sorry for my rant. I just, it just came to me about those girls and, yeah. It just breaks my heart. Anyway, I just want you to go out and have a good day as best you can. As, as life gets to you, have the best day that you can. And I will see you tomorrow. Sorry for the downer. I really am. I didn't mean for it to go that way. Anyway, bye.